Behad ki param shanti. Today I am going to share the essence of the conversation between Bapuji and Anandji on the 10 fascinating facts about the soul recorded on 4th May 2018. All souls should know who they are, where they are from and how they were created. They should know about their very creation and dissolution, their beginning and their end. The Bhagavad Gita says that soul is Ajar Amar Avinashi, which means eternal, immortal and indestructible. How is a soul created and dissolved and what is the beginning, progress and end of the soul? In our solar system, Shiv creates through Brahma. Brahma created the Saptarishis and they in turn created Parampurusha, the supreme male. The supreme male created his female counterpart Prakriti. Together they went on creating beings which led to energy loss and downfall. The Saptarishis created the seven higher planes of existence or Lokas and the earth was created for humans to inhabit it. The creation of the rishis came down gradually from angelic beings to demigods and from demigods to humans and from humans to 84 lakh species. The longevity of our Brahma is 100 years. That is the life of uh, the duration for which our solar system exists. For the first 50 years or the first parard of Brahma's life is over and we are now into 1980 million years in the second 50 years of Brahma. One year of Brahma is equal to 31 trillion, 10 billion and 400 million years. The history of our solar system is 1600 trillion years old. Imagine the state of the humans that were created then. Humans were created, births and deaths started to occur. In the beginning, there was no birth death until ten, the 10th year of Brahma, that is 330 trillion years since the beginning. When does the end come for souls in our solar system? Cycles of time kept progressing namely satya yuga the golden age treta yuga the silver age dwapara yuga the bronze age and kali yuga the iron age these four yugas or epochs put together become one mega epoch or one chatur yug at the end of every mega epoch there is a partial dissolution or ardha pralay then at the end of 71 mega epochs there is a higher dissolution later there is something called kalp pralay or causal dissolution which occurs at the end of a thousand mega epochs during this time three higher planes and the seven lower planes get burned and completely destroyed at the end of brahma's life 100 years the great dissolution occurs which is called the mahakalp pralay at that time souls of very high category rise higher above beyond the fourth fifth sixth seventh planes beyond the celestial planes and evolve weak souls of lower category like mosquitoes just perish in the kalp pralay When the life of the solar system is over the power of the creator shiv is completely depleted and he enters the sun produces mahakala agni the fire of the great dissolution and absorbs the entire solar system into himself 3300 trillion years is the duration of brahma's life thus all the souls perish along with the great dissolution that explains how souls are created and dissolved similarly mahashiv also absorbs his entire galaxy into himself when his energy is completely depleted why do souls go through the 84 lakh species or yonis 
1550 trillion years ago the souls that were created by brahma went on creating and creating and their power got depleted the seven higher layers were created and the seven lower planes and 550 million hells were created beneath the seven lower planes do all souls have to go through the 84 lakh yoni or species it depends of on their karma automatically they go into various uh births into various species when souls fall due to negative karma they end up in the lower planes or in one of the 550 million hells souls get a human birth with much difficulty after much sadhana and penance after trillions of years the soul deteriorates how do souls come to this mortal world and how do they go to the immortal world when the soul is right ears does good karma connects to the supreme being and receives energy power so the soul becomes so powerful that it gets into a state beyond karma and travels to higher planes in the subtle body does every soul die souls created in this solar system perish with the solar system when shiva's when shiv's energies are in the negative he enters the sun creates kalagni the fire of uh, dissolution and absorbs all of his creation into himself 100 years of brahma is 1 second for mahashiv it is therefore that they state pratipal anantanand brahmand bante bigadte hain for every second of mahashiv solar systems are being created and destroyed even the lord of the universe the lord of the great universe lord of the great great universe and the lord of the multiverse does the same thing they all dissolve and absorb their own creation when their energies are completely depleted our multiverse is now dropped to a minus kala level minus 100 kala or celestial degree power our universe was initially created of 16 kala or celestial degrees the layers beyond the 100 kala namely 200 300 400 etc are immortal imperishable realms of existence there is no creation and dissolution there and these souls are immortal who is the creator of souls does each soul have a different creator shiv creates through brahma protects through vishnu similarly mahashiv and param mahashiv create through param maha brahma and param maha vishnu what elements are the souls made up of different souls are made up of different elements very high quality behat souls are made of param light or supreme divine light behad or the unlimited realm is filled with this supreme divine light or param light so qualities the souls of very high quality are made of param light and then come souls of supreme akash or ether then come a third category of souls that are made up of ether element alone the ones that go into the bodies of animals and lower things are lower level souls can humans can humans experience the soul not every human only the highest quality souls can experience the soul when true knowledge emerges self realization happens can the soul become a supreme soul can the atma become a param atma behat souls have all the information recorded in their soul behat souls should should say and affirm i am a behat soul mai behat ki param 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 shaktishali atma hu i am a very very powerful soul of the unlimited realm and when a soul wants to exit the cycle of birth and death 
it has to connect to the supreme being the almighty paramatma is like shiv it has all the recordings the creation can the soul go beyond the mortal world of birth and death of gross elements yes indeed if the soul decides if the soul sets its mind the soul is stuck in maya in bhakti marg they have to know all about the vastness of creation they need to immerse in the ocean of knowledge and only by churning the ocean of knowledge will they grasp the truth hence it is said juti maya juti khaya juta jag sansar because that which means the world of illusion is false this body is false everything that you see visually around you is false why are souls stuck in the mental in the mortal world due to their karma even high quality souls get stuck because they failed to fulfill the work they were sent here for and got caught up in maya how was the first man created it is said that humans are here since 1980 million years but this is wrong humans were created after 10 years of brahma and the earth was created for them to live 1600 trillion years since humans were created and as creation went on their power got depleted even shiv does visarjan or dissolution after power loss mahashiv does visarjan too souls must wake up we souls must not be frogs in a well but should immerse in the knowledge ocean know where they are from who they are and what they are here for self transformation is key to global transformation param shanti